Uh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm curious if you could talk to the development that you received from a guy like Chuck Smith in high school, and coming in as a pretty refined football player. How much of a role did that play in your ability to get onto the field pretty early as a freshman? I feel like working with Coach uh, Chuck, it, uh, it helped my game a lot, and it elevated me faster. I came in with more moves and more in my bag, so I really appreciate like working with Chuck. Mike Hill, uh, how hard was it getting hurt in the spring, and just where are you physically with uh, the season just right around the corner? Uh, it was hard to deal with at first, but I realized it was the best thing for me. But I've been progressing along, and uh, I'm, that's a close mark, Chris. <laughs> And uh, that's a great question, but the whole true freshman class that came in, they really been showing big improve, big improvements and big strides. Uh, it, it's going to be a special class to watch. I was just wondering, uh, with your injury issue, how much do you feel like that affected and if it, if it uh, might have affected your progress? Because obviously you weren't able to be out there on the field and get all those reps you would otherwise be getting. You feel like it's held you back in any way? I wouldn't say it held me back. I'd say like it, it like it slowed me down. But uh, but but since I've been progressing back, like I feel like I'm getting back into the flow of things. Yeah, you finished last season sacks in both college football playoff games. How big do you think you know the light sort of coming on there at the end of the season was really big for you going into the sophomore season where Kirby has said he doesn't know if this defensive line group has sort of a game record or a guy that can make impact plays like he did then last season. Uh, could you repeat the question? Yeah, just how big was, you know, picking up those sacks at the end of last season, going into a year where, you know, Kirby doesn't know if this defensive line has, you know, Jalen Carter, Trayvon Walker, Jordan Davis type impact play? Uh, I can say like last season was last season, and I'm kind of focused on it now, and what I do this season, so yeah, that's my, I'm kind of like focused on it now. Yeah, Michael, I think it was uh, Warren yesterday who said, you know, you can't just rely on being the best athlete in college. You've got to learn tendencies and things like that. I'm curious, like, how, how far have you come in that part of your game, especially through the spring and summer when you maybe couldn't do as much physically as you wanted to? Uh, that's a great question. But uh, I feel like mentally, the aspect of me, like, growing mentally, I have grown a lot because I, cause I couldn't do the stuff physically. So I've just been taking notes and watching and learning tendencies. It's talking with the O-line coaches, really. Yes, sir. Mike Hell, just how confident are you in this defensive line room, all the guys you guys got in there and, and what you guys are capable of this season? I love our room. I feel like we, we got the, the talent in the room to be one of the best, if not the best, in America. I just, I just can't wait to showcase it. What is going up against this offensive line day-to-day do for you? We got the best O line in the country, so it's obviously the best work. I feel like we're not gonna play nobody as good as our O. I ain't gonna say that, Sorry. but I feel like we're not gonna play. As, yeah, our O line is the best in the country. <laughs> Michael, you kind of touched on the room there. You got a few guys that have been around the program for a while, like Mike Warren. I mean, how has it been to learn from guys like that, uh, especially with all the experience they have? Yeah, man, it's been great. Like Warren, Chamel, uh, Zion, Lowe, Nas, they, they gave me like great insight, especially coming in as a true freshman. Those guys have really helped me upgrade and build my game. Yeah. What was the hardest thing to do to play as a true freshman? What was your biggest challenge? <laughs> biggest challenge? I'd say just like transitioning to the atmosphere. Like my first game, the atmosphere kind of—it was like wow. It was like all these people are so loud, and like, it was, I was kind of kind of nervous a little bit. But as I got used to playing those type of games, it kind of relaxed and calmed down. So. Michael, what have you seen from Jordan Hall so far this year, and just how he's gotten acclimated to be on the team? Oh yeah, like uh, with Jordan Hall, he got he has a motor, and uh, he has really good hands, really really violent, really aggressive. And uh, he got a lot of tools that I feel like we can use this year. I'm curious. You guys never seem to say the wrong thing in here. You always say the right thing. What is media training like at the University of Georgia? Uh, it's intense. We bring in one of the best people ever. I get, in my opinion, one of the best people ever to come help us, Miss Maria Taylor. 
and uh, she sits us down and, and walks us through how to answer questions and how to how to enunciate and how to you know. Uh, go so that's something y'all work on. Yes, sir. Offensive lineman that you face every day. Who's the guy you don't want to get hands on? Oh man, uh, see, our line is so good. Is I got to choose one. <laughs> uh, that whole unit, that whole unit's good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'd probably say it's, it's out of. Uh, oh man, that whole unit. <laughs> that whole unit. That whole unit, good. We talked a lot about the defensive line, but uh, I want to also ask about the linebackers. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, what do you try and work on to specifically, you know, open things up for them? And then also, what has it been like to have a guy like Jamon Dumas Johnson in that room playing behind you? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll answer the second part of the question first. Uh, playing with Pop, well, we call him Pop, Jamon. Playing with Jamon is it, great because he's vocal, he's loud, he's going to tell you, like, where, where to be, what to play, unless you get the car, get lined up. And it's just like he's enthusiastic, he brings that energy every day. I love playing with Jamon. Yeah, could you repeat the first part of the question? Yeah, just um, like how, how do you, in your own game, like what do you do to specifically make sure that you get stronger opportunities for a pop? Oh yeah, basically like when, when we run our cars, like if I have to if I have to do a, a certain job on this car and it's for him to get free, I'm going I'm to make sure I do it to the best of my ability. that other question in a different way. How hard is it to not let Amarius Mims get his hands on you being 6'8", 330, just such a huge human being? Yes, sir. Uh, Mims, he's, he's one of a kind. I really haven't seen too many offensive linemen like him just because of his size and how he moves. And uh, it's extremely hard, especially when it, with him being so long, he can touch it from far away. So mm -hmm. it's a battle going against Mims. Michael, what's it been like getting another Columbus Phoenix City guy in with AJ Harris? And uh, just what have you seen from him as he's got settled in? Yeah, hey, dog. We got the same mentality. I guess it might be because we're from the same area, but yeah, he's a dog. And I can't wait. I can't wait to have him on the field with me. You said the injury and missing spring, you know, kind of slowed your growth, but the growth is still there. Where do you feel like you've grown the most since your freshman season to now? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, I really feel like. I've grown the most, and like I say, my anticipation of plays, like the way Coach Scott teaches us and and, and develops us, I kind of you kind of know what, what's going on before the ball is snapped. But now with me being out, and I just been sitting watching, and me with different people, like I can hear a call of O line making, I know it's where they're moving, or it's like my anticipation of the game has gotten better. Got time for two more questions. Hey, Michael, this is, this is a little trivial, but uh, I know you and Malachi both were number 24 in high school. Y'all both came in, you ended yeah. up getting 13. Yeah. I was wondering if y'all discussed that, you just ended up getting 13, maybe you chose 13, that's special to you, just, you know. Uh, yeah, me and Malachi did what 24. Uh, he asked me, he asked me before we got here, and I, and I, and I, you know, I let him get it. Okay. And then 13 is a number I, I, uh, I liked a lot, and I chose 13. Great question. What separates Trey Scott from how he teaches, how he, how he develops. Like, to me, he's, he's the best in, in America, and there's no question, just by like, like any drill we do, he can show you film on it from 10 years ago. Like, like anything we got, he got film on everything. Like, how he teaches, how he breaks the game down and makes it slower to you. Thanks, Thanks Mike. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike.